Hey guys, it's Luke here and welcome back to another video. You join me today for yet another car feature in the form of this Golf GTI Club Sport. This is no ordinary club sport. It's a bit of a track car actually. It's a stage three car as well, running a hybrid turbo from Litco, running just over 500 brake. Very much so looking forward to experiencing this. Even though I have a Golf R, I think to be honest, the GTI Club Sport is probably the ultimate one. Dare I say it. Of course, we are joined as well today with the owner, Connie. I'll introduce her to the channel very shortly. We'll have a walk around about basically what she's done to it before we go out and experience this 500 brake GTI Club Sport. Okay, so we're joined now with Connie. Thank you so much for bringing this beast down. It's, <laughs> it's pretty cool to be fair. It's very, very cool. Um, you've done a lot to it, I yeah, guess. Yeah, I've done a couple of bits. Yeah. So engine wise, it's not too brutal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I've got our Sprogly Motorsport Stage 3 hardware package. Mm -hmm. So that consists of the AirTech intercooler with big boost pipes, mm -hmm. the Ram Air Pro Ram intake system, the Scorpion turbo back, and then the, of course, Litco L480 yes. hybrid. So this is, yeah, hybrid turbo running just over 500 brake, as we mentioned. And of course, as you mentioned as well, you run Sprogly Motorsport with your brother, Ed, yep. who's been on the channel as well with his Mark 8 uh, GTI. Pretty cool, you got both of them together. <laughs> uh, well, his is exactly the same spec as well, isn't it? Pretty much, pretty yeah. Looks-wise, they look pretty similar, pretty like similar. they're both all black. Yeah. But yeah, no, as well as the package, I do also have a racing line oil catch tank. Yeah. Okay. Um, and then I've also got um, upgraded oh, yeah. fuel pumps as well. Okay, yeah, nice, nice. I mean, 500 brake plus out of a GTI is pretty impressive, yeah. <laughs> to be fair. Yeah. <laughs> and it's it a bit of a track toy as well. Yeah, it is. So I've done one track day in it. Yeah. Um, I'm a complete amateur. <laughs> However, I really, really enjoyed it. Yeah. And yeah. I would go back tomorrow and nice, do another one. Nice, nice. Well, you've got the, the setup around here for, for some good track days as well. NS2Rs. Yeah, so we're on tracks. Nankang NS2Rs. These are HJ ET45 Pro Tracks. They're 18 inch. Mm -hmm. Little stud and nut kit going on there as well. Yeah. Brake wise, these were actually my first or second mod that I ever did to the car. Originally, I was going to keep the car OEM Plus, mm -hmm. but then I fell in a rabbit hole. Yeah. Of just really enjoying doing things <laughs> to the car. Um, so these are actually Ed's old Mark 8 Club Sport brakes. Okay, so you just nick in his parts basically. Yep. <laughs> That's Fair what enough. sister's there for. Yeah, yeah. Um, they are on Frodo DS2500 yeah. um, pads. I believe that they are the best pads currently for the Mark 8 Club Sport brakes, yeah. like the standard ones. Hell braided lines, front and rear. Yeah. RBF 660 brake fluid. Nice, yeah, the go-to, the go-to. What suspension is it you're running? So this is on a KW Has kit. Okay, uh, yeah. So height adjustable spring system or height yeah. adjustable kit. I've also got some 034 motorsport ball joints, mm -hmm. uh, just for a little bit of camber. I believe it's two degrees on the front and 1.5 on the rear. Okay. Um, it's also got 11 mil spaces on, on the back as on well. On the back, yeah. Oh yeah, Scorpion tips here. So it's a full turbo back system, isn't it, you said? Yeah, so this yeah. is a uh, full Scorpion resonator system with mm -hmm. sports cut, not D-cut. Yeah. Tip-wise, I've actually gone for the Mark 8 Club Sport tips. Mm -hmm. Purely because the Mark 8 Club Sport tips, they're 114 mil. Yeah. Whereas the Mark 7, I believe, are 100 mil. Oh, okay. So then with the added TCR diffuser, Yes, um, and the yeah. 7.5 bumper, it just makes it all look a little bit It's very chunkier. classily, yeah, 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 <laughs> in the best possible way. Yeah. But it, it's really classy. It's oh, really, really you. classy. Definitely a cool looking thing. Of course, the TCR vent as well on the bonnet. It's a genuine TCR bonnet vent. Yeah. Uh, that's from Area Motorsport. Uh -huh. It does serve a purpose and obviously help with cooling. Mm. Um, however, I'd be lying to say I don't also really like the look of it. It looks really cool. <laughs> when the bonnet's down and you're looking at the car from like dead on, it does look pretty menacing, but I think but yeah. with Mark 7, it just makes it look a little bit more chunky. Yeah. Um, and then also, I've gone for the Riga split lip uh, just below the standard Club Sport splitter, yeah. um, purely yeah. just because I wanted the rear and the front to kind of marry up with each other. Yeah, that I didn't makes sense. just want to yeah. focus on the rear and then not do the front. Yeah, yeah, no, absolutely, absolutely. But, but yeah, it's a mega thing, looks really cool. I'm sure it goes well as well. So, I think if that's pretty much everything, we'll get it fired up and go for a spin. Yeah, of course. <laughs> it does go, doesn't it? Yep. 
<laughs> There's going to be lots of silly laughs in this video, I already know it. <laughs> oh, well, honestly, I don't know whether it's a nervous laugh or an excited laugh, but every time I boot it by myself, I'll start losing. Yeah. <laughs> I'd say it hooks up alright, but <laughs> sounds awesome. <laughs> <laughs> when it hooks up, it, it's really strong. Yeah, that's the thing. It does take a little bit of time. Yeah. Um, I feel like with this, you really have to like pedal it. Yeah. Like you can't just go like straight. Straight down. Yeah. yeah. But it's more fun, isn't it, to have them spinning away a little bit? Oh yeah. Yeah. Bit of drama. <laughs> Tone's really nice, like it's not too overpowering or anything. Yeah, it's like, well, if I take it, well, if I take the gearbox out of sport, it's really subtle. Mm. Um, and I know obviously quite a lot of people like decat, um, yeah. but personally for me, I'd just get a little bit, um, not bored of it, but it'd just be a bit much. A bit too overpowering, yeah. <laughs> It's really strong, to be fair. <laughs> <laughs> I genuinely do this one by myself as well. Yeah, yeah. I just, have the best time. Just go out for a drive and just giggle. Yeah, literally. <laughs> but yeah, now we're out in the car. First of all, you got the wing backs. Yes. The best seats, they are very cool. Did they come factory with it? Uh, I, th I believe they're an upgrade. No, sorry, an optional extra. Yeah, sorry. but they were on it when you when you bought it. Yeah, 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 nice. yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, I absolutely love the wing bags. To be yeah. fair, I am in the future looking into getting um, bucket seats. Nice, yeah. Um, and then harnesses, and then a mm -hmm. half cage as well. But I have to like really pace myself because <laughs> I'm the sort of person that's like when I want it, it's like oh, I want it now, sort of thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but I've only had it nine months, so you've done all this in nine months. I've only had yeah. And it was a stock car when you when you bought it. Yeah, com yeah. absolutely stock. Fair play. Do you know what? That's actually why I went for the car, just so I can do everything from scratch myself. But yeah, no, it's completely standard when I first bought it, and then nine months and we're here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fair play, fair play. As well as that, as well. Obviously, it's DSG, as we mentioned. Um, we've also got a nice rear seat delete back there as well. Yeah, um, so that is a stone performance rear seat delete. Mm -hmm. um, so you can actually get the netting and the bar in any colour. Yeah. So I was actually originally going to go for the matte black bar, but the Club Sport S um, comes with that as standard. Yeah, yeah. Um, and I didn't want to be the exact same. And also, I mm -hmm. went for the gloss black just to match up to the back of the wing backs. Yeah, yeah, because yeah, you've got like a little painted bit on the back. Yeah. Pretty cool. But yeah, I mean, it's not overdone. It's very classily done. And it's weird to be in a Golf that has like a little bit of sound ending in a, in a stock interior, because yeah. I'm used to like bang crash and all that in mine. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I, I wanted to keep the car very drivable. Yeah. Um, I do have a daily car as well, um, mm -hmm. which I use probably 80% of the time. Yeah. Um, but sometimes I don't just want to go out in this and just have bangs and like it be yeah. completely aggressive. Like. Mm. I want it to also be a pleasure to drive, and it re it really yeah. is a lovely car. Like yeah. I feel like with the Mark Seven, you get a lot of quality as well. Yeah, no, I agree. The yeah. only thing I have changed, um, also as well as the rear seat delete, mm. is the steering wheel. Oh yeah, of course. So yeah. ninety percent of people would be like, "Why would you change the uh, Club Sport Alcantara steering wheel? It's lovely." Mm. And I actually completely agree. It is, and I'll forever keep mine. However, this yeah, sounds really silly, but the original steering wheel is really skinny. Yeah. To yeah. Hold, um, mm -hmm. And I just personally wanted to. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying. I, I keep think, it I very think, PG. Yeah, but yeah. I just preferred like. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll leave that there. Yeah. Fair enough. I mean, it's a nice one. You still got the red 12 o'clock marker at the top. Yeah. Well, it's so. actually very similar to the Mark 8 steering wheel. Yeah, because you got the perforated bits as well. Yes. <laughs> yeah, this is where this car's at home, isn't it, really? Oh, so yes. <laughs> Turning is really... I can tell you've got camber plates on it. Because I'm turning is... <laughs> Fair play. 
I don't want to kill us both. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that turning is so sharp. You'd think for like a high powered front wheel drive car that you get a bit of understeer, but no. No, it hooks up pretty nicely <laughs> like, there. As soon as you turn the wheel, it's dead in. Sorry if I go dead silent in this way, just because I'm concentrating. Yeah, yeah that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> but no, it's, it's so much fun to drive, yeah. like it really is. To be fair, when it when it gets going like that, yeah. I feel like that's where this is really at home. When it's like going around corners and then you're you're using the paddles and then you're really driving the car, yeah. that's where it's happy. Yeah, yeah, exactly, yeah. Yeah, that was, that was good fun. <laughs> <laughs> I love how there's just that like initial silence of nothing while we just yeah. sit on the steps yeah. and can't do it. <laughs> Have you got any more plans for it though? Like, I know there's obviously still stuff you want to do, but is there anything like that you're going to get done soon or are you just going to enjoy it for like the rest of the summer? Um, as it is? So overall the car at the minute, I'm really happy. Yeah. Looks wise, I feel like are important because obviously you want the car to look nice and, and yeah. so on and so forth. However, like how the car is internally and like how it drives and like how I'm looking after it, that's most important to me. Yeah, yeah. Um, so oil cooler. Yes. Uh, yeah. That'll be next, um, mm. along with be much better brakes because it needs it. Mm. <laughs> Sorry, Ed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, yeah. It's all well and good going fast, yeah. but you need to stop. But other than that, I'm, um, I'm happy. Yeah, no, I don't blame you. Yeah, I mean, you've done a lot in, what, nine months that you've had it? Yeah, nine so, months. Yeah, no, fair play to it. It's, a, it's an absolute beast. And thank you so much for, for coming down and, and taking me out on it because I love a golf. And um, yeah, this this one's probably the highest horsepower GTI that I've had on, probably. I think, really? it, I think it might be. Yeah. Oh, cool. Uh, it is. It is. Uh, yeah, definitely up there. But but yeah, I mean, thank you again. Um, of course, if you guys want to know more about Connie's car and also Sporty Motorsport, then I'll leave all the details down in the description down below. But for me today, that is it. I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you have, please do make sure to leave a like and make sure to subscribe for all the adventures still to come.